YouTube, what's the deal? It's your girl Jahira, and I am back, and I am exhausted. We can just start there. I, Jesus. I hope y'all are well. I really do. I swear I do. When I tell you that I am wore out, there's just no words. So... I'm not going to stick around long. That's the intention that I'm setting. But I wanted to touch base with y'all really quick and um, and just kind of fill you in on what's going on. <coughs> so for my subtastics who have been around for at least a year, you will be very happy to know... I need something to prop... Okay. Um, there we go. You will be very happy to know that as of today, I just completed my first day back to school. And the reason why this is a big deal for, for folks who are new, um, I'm going to drop y'all a little bit of history. Okay, hold on. There we go. <sighs> so, um... For those of you who may not be aware, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna clue you in. I started school last year. I'm pretty sure on this exact date, um, or or right around this time anyway. And um, I was super excited to go. Um, it was my my first day at college, um, and I enjoyed three glorious weeks of being back at school after really, really, you know, trying and then not trying and then vacillating around whether I should try or not, I finally decided to go and I was doing really well, like really well. I was kind of kicking butt actually. And then on February 16th of last year, God, it's still so crazy to be talking about 2016 as last year. But um, thank God it's over. Anyway, February 16th of last year, I <laughs> had an accident. <clears throat> the short version of a long story is that I was walking to, well, I was going to school on a day that I did not actually have to go but I was going in to participate in this group that they were having. Um, it had rained the entire day. I mean, like, really, like, wipeout rain the day before. So everything was flooded. Everything was covered in water. And in my attempt to circumnavigate, like, the puddles, I decided to try to walk down this hill. And <laughs> rainy situation, muddy hill... My foot started to slide. The bottom line is, your girl went ass over tea kettle. And I'm talking about one of those moments where you have this split second where you can look up and see your own feet. <laughs> and I slid to the bottom of this hill, which resulted in me fracturing my ankle in three places. It was like back of the ambulance rush to the emergency room, go into emergency surgery, and then I believe three weeks at a rehab facility, and then, you know, like this incredible long time healing. And with that said, I couldn't get around the campus um, with the walker, you know, because I mean, it is, it, it's a reasonably handy capable um, accommodations within the campus. But the campus was under renovations. It ch it wasn't great. So I had to withdraw, which was heartbreaking to me. And while I was at the bottom of this hill in a heap, screaming in pain, there was a guy. There, there was this man who literally, like, he had his friend pull over. They were driving, and he pulled over to the side of the road, or had his friend pull over. He got out of the car. 
He called 911 and he stayed with me the whole time until the ambulance came. And I will never forget, you know, as I'm, I'm writhing in the worst pain I've ever known, um, I'll never forget he said that his name was Blessed. That people called him Blessed. Like, that was his nickname. Just amazing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, and, and I thought about this kid. You know, when I say kid, I'm talking about, like, 19, 20, maybe? Um, I thought about him all the time. I prayed for him. Continue to pray for him so hard because you know what I mean it's just people don't you know we're, we're living in a time where where that you don't come to expect behavior like that out of folks <coughs> but this was one kid who had obviously been raised right and and he he just he was there for me at a time when I didn't have a friend in the world Lord I could get emotional just thinking about it and there's a reason for this I promise I'm gonna get there and I'm not gonna cry that's the prayer um, suffice it to say last year was really trying for me on the one hand I, I don't want to say that so so like in such a cavalier manner on the one hand I really did get a chance to connect with some truly amazing people and trim the proverbial fat from my social circle you know letting go of the people that needed to be let go of and stumbling across these amazing souls that that are now kind of permeate my inner circle people who are really rooting for me and are willing to stand in the gap for me and they make me laugh and they make me think and and I'm so grateful for these folks that I might not have had the time to meet had I not been in such a precarious position um, <coughs> You know, but on the other hand, nobody signs up to break their ankle. And I was really on a path in school. You know, I felt focused and I felt present and I felt good about the things that I was doing. And it was just so disappointing. It was so disappointing. And the one thing to my credit that I will say is that The possibility of giving up never stayed in my mind long enough to like consciously consider. For me, it was always just a question of how soon I could get back and, and, and not give up. I will say that, and, and I'm somebody who's kind of had a history of giving up on stuff. So that made me feel proud of, of kind of where I've come from, you know? So last week was my orientation. And I went. Um, I didn't get to go last year because me and Mike were together for a long weekend. Um, <laughs> but I did get to go this time. Um, you know, it, it was orientation. I got some free stuff. That helped. Um, ay, Dios mío. Hold on one second, y'all. I'm sorry about that. But I'm back. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so orientation happened. Which was great. But I walk into class today for the first time in a year. Well, you know, coming up on a year. And I had one class that was new, but I essentially took all my old classes. And the response that I got from my professors upon seeing me again, you just can't put a price on that kind of joy and motivation that I felt and, and just affirmation that I hadn't given up but this is not like here's what I wanted to tell y'all so I have basically an hour free period between each class so I'm just kind of like meandering around the campus between classes at this point because I, I wasn't able to get my books today I'm getting them tomorrow which is Tuesday anyway so I'm walking I'm walking I'm walking um, and I, I saw this kid and he was talking to somebody. He was talking to somebody and he was smiling. And I think if it makes any sense at all, I think that my heart spoke before my brain could really react and I just said blessed 
And this kid with this billion dollar smile turns around and it's blessed. And he looks at me and he can't place it. And then two seconds later, his whole face lights up and he runs, literally feet off the ground, runs into my arms. And I, oh my Jesus, I might have busted something. Like, I squeezed him so tight. I, I, my fingerprints are probably in his spinal column. Like, it don't make no sense. And this is somebody that I don't know. You understand what I'm saying? It was literally this one time in the midst of this horrible experience. I mean, you would think that I wouldn't remember him worth a damn but turns out he goes to this school and and he just said I am so happy to see you I prayed for you I said I prayed for you and it just oh my god my heart was full to bursting and and he goes there and I'm sure I'll see him around on campus but I mean Jesus what a full circle moment that was I just had to share that with y'all and it just goes to show I'm, I mean listen I, God knows what he's doing that you know and I make space for all belief systems but this is what I know to be true for me I just wanted to let y'all know that and so I might not be around like extremely frequently but y'all will get the updates I'm thinking about going back to my beaten blab series but I do have to like the lighting in here is so tragic first of all and um and I'm we're, we're gonna figure something out believe me I promise you so I'm back in school y'all and all is well with the world and I hope that you are well and and I will be back very soon Please pray my strength or cross your fingers or whatever it is that you do because I need all the help that I can get. I love you wherever you are going. Please take my love with you. And until next time, YouTube, as always, one love. Hmm. It's a good day.